This is the installation video for White Rogers 50M 56X 843 Universal Integrated Furnace Control by Copeland. The kit includes materials needed to replace or upgrade many single stage hot surface ignition integrated furnace controls. The control can be used for both PSC and ECMX blower motor applications and with having the most connector terminals on board eliminates the need for adapter harnesses. The box includes a 50M 56X 843 ignition control, a 21D 64-2 hot rod igniter, an accessory bag which contains six 3 16th inch female quick connect spades, six 1 quarter inch female quick connect spades, four half inch sheet metal mounting screws, five mounting standoffs, and step-by-step -step instructions for easy installation. First. Ensure power and gas are disconnected prior to servicing the unit. Remove the unit access panel. Check the part number on the existing control and verify it as one of the more than 550 modules that can be replaced with the 50M 56X843. Use the cross-reference chart on the side of the carton or the White Rogers mobile app. Take a picture of the existing module for reference before removing any wires. Identify the existing wiring and take note of the terminal identifiers on the existing control. Disconnect the thermostat wiring. Take note of what color wires are going to each terminal. Remove the transformer 24 volt hot and common wires. Disconnect the 11 pin low voltage inline plug. Remove the 120 volt neutral wires for the power in, inducer, hot surface igniter, transformer, and blower circulator. Taking note of each color, remove the blower circulator cool speed wire, heat speed wire, and the wire parked on the spare terminal. Remove the 120 volt power in wire. Remove the 120 volt transformer power wire. And finally, remove the 120 volt power plug for the inducer and igniter. Remove the board by unscrewing any screws and disconnecting any standoffs holding the board in place. The control can be configured by two different methods. Onboard configuration can be done after the board has been installed and powered up. Mobile app configuration is the preferred method and can be done prior to installing the control. To configure using the mobile app method, use the QR code on the control's product label to download the White Rogers Connect app from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Once downloaded, Open the app. Tap on Connect to Control from the home page. The screen will show Ready to Scan. Place the mobile device in contact with the NFC logo on the control. A check mark will appear showing the connection was successful. The app will then display the 50M 56X 843's configuration screen. In this example, the settings will be adjusted to match the existing control. The existing control is designed for a two-speed PSC motor and the heat off delay is set at 120 seconds. The 50M 56X843 is factory default set for the blower motor type selection of two-speed, so no change is needed for this setting. The heat off delay is factory set at 100 seconds. Change the heat off setting by tapping plus or minus until 120 appears. Additional configuration options may pertain to your specific application. Reference the instruction manual for a complete list of configuration options. For mobile configuration, changes made must be uploaded to the control. Select Update Control and hold the mobile device near the NFC logo. This may take up to five seconds. A check mark will display showing the update was successful. The 50M 56X843 is now ready to be installed. There are three styles of mounting options, seven mounting tabs, five standoff holes, and two slide-in tabs. Utilize the mounting that matches the existing control if possible. Mount the 50M 56X843 in the unit. For this application, the slide-in tabs are used with one of the mounting tabs, utilizing the same mounting configuration of the previous control. Make sure you don't damage any components such as wire harnesses or blower wheels when drilling or installing screws. Identify the main connector on the OEM wiring harness and attach it to the matching connector on the new control. 
Use the wiring diagrams in the installation instructions for proper OEM connector and wire identification. For 6-pin ECM-X applications, identify the correct connector on the control and plug in the ECM-X motor harness. For ECM-X spade terminal applications, plug the motor wires on the matching terminals. Take note of special case applications in the installation instructions. Some OEM wiring uses a plastic connector housing to group together 112-volt power and neutral terminals. For these applications, Cut the wires near the housing and install the supplied quarter-inch Quick Connect spade connectors. The three 120-volt line wires can be connected to the Line H, Transformer H, and CIRCH in any order. And the three neutral wires to the Line N, Transformer N, and Neutral 1 terminals. For most applications, connect the individual wires to the new control board. Connect the line in 120 volt power and neutral wires to the terminals labeled line H and line N. Connect the transformer 120 volt power and neutral wires to the terminals labeled XFMRH and XFMRN. Connect the blower circulator 120 volt wires to heat, cool, and park one terminals and the neutral wire to the spade labeled CARRN. Identify the correct inducer igniter plug. For this application, plug in the two-wire plug for the inducer and igniter and connect the neutral wires to any of the available neutral spades. Identify the correct spade size for the 24-volt hot and common wires and attach the transformer low-voltage wires to the correct terminals. Remove the thermostat bus block from the control and install the thermostat wires according to the terminals they were removed from. Then, plug the block back into the control. Ensure all wires and connectors are secured to the control board and any unused blower speed wires are attached to the park terminals. If the control being replaced operated an 80-volt igniter, the existing igniter must be replaced with the included hot rod igniter. For all other applications, inspect the existing 120-volt igniter to determine if it must be replaced. The system is now ready to be powered on. Reconnect the electric power and gas to the unit and make sure the door switch is engaged. The 50M56X843 automatically configures the control to match the harnesses that have been attached. This process takes up to 30 seconds at first power-up. After two consecutive matching power-ups, the control will write the configuration in memory. See the installation instructions if the control needs reset for a different application. If you chose not to configure timings with the White Rogers Connect app, the control can now be set up using the Option and Select buttons with the LED display. To enter configuration, press the Option button while the unit is in standby. Table 1 on page 3 of the installation instructions show configuration options. A self-test mode allows the control to test most furnace components without requiring a call for heat. To enter the self-test mode, go into the configuration settings and choose Yes on option number 22. To verify proper ignition, make a call for heat. During an active call for heat, cool, or constant fan, the LED display will alternate between up to three status indicators. The first will display the active call from the thermostat. If applicable, the active motor speed selection will also be displayed alongside flame current in heating mode. If an active error code is present, it will be displayed in an alternating pattern with the other codes. The 50M56X843 comes with flame current test pins. These pins are easy to access and provide the flame current reading. To test the flame current, set a voltmeter to DC volts and measure across the pins while a flame is present on the sensor probe. 1 volt DC equals 1 microamp. With the 50M56X843 control flame current display feature, the current can now be easily checked on the digital display without a meter. Fault code errors can be recalled through the White Rogers Connect mobile app. Open the app and select the Connect to Control button. Place the mobile device near the NFC logo on the module and wait until a check mark appears showing the connection was successful. The app will then display the module settings configuration page. To see any errors, select the Diagnostics tab. 
errors will be listed with the most current at the top. For detailed information and troubleshooting tips, tap the information icon by default. To clear errors in the app, tap the Clear Error History button, place the device in contact with the NFC logo on the module, and wait for the check mark to appear. This action can be performed whether the module is powered on or powered off. Fault codes can also be accessed on the module anytime the module is powered. Press the Option and Select buttons for two to five seconds. If there are no errors, the display will read E and O. To clear errors using the module, hold the Option and Select buttons together for five to 10 seconds. This action can be performed whenever the control is powered on. The 50M56X843 is available wherever White Rogers products are sold. For single-stage furnace applications with PSC or EMCX blower motors, be sure to stock the 50M56X843 Integrated Furnace Control. Service of HVAC equipment should only be performed by a licensed and properly trained technician. Failing to follow all applicable standards of operation and maintenance, including applicable codes and manuals, can result in potential hazards, including, but not limited to, electrocution and fire. Thanks for watching the White Rogers 50M56X843 Integrated Furnace Control Installation video. For more information, visit copeland.com forward slash 50M56X-843.